ToonTrack releases EasyKeys cinematic pads and updates EasyKeys to version 1.3.1 native Apple Silicon support. Welcome to Music Gears where we bring you the latest info on new music instruments, software, and other gear from around the world. ToonTrack has announced the release of EasyKeys cinematic pads, an all-new EasyKeys instrument ideal for ambient soundscapes, scores, and sound design. The EasyKeys software has been updated to version 1.3.1, featuring native Apple Silicon support to the VST, AU, and standalone. Here's what they say. EasyKeys cinematic pads is based around several analog and modular synths, as well as a vintage grand piano and an electric bowed guitar. Together, these components form a never-before-heard hybrid instrument of reverberant, peculiar, fluttering, ominous, visceral, fluid and literally out-of-this-world audio landscapes. With this at hand, you're an intrepid explorer at the helm of an audio vessel headed straight into the unknown, weightlessly drifting through an interstellar cosmos en route to uncharted sonic frontiers. If you let yourself go, you'll enter a realm where the divide between reality and dream is nothing but a lucid gradient ready for you to pierce though. Feature Spotlight A hybrid instrument of never-before-heard textures of sound. Based on several analog and modular synths as well as a grand piano and an electric bowed guitar. In excess of 70 mix-ready presets offering a widely creative panorama of ambient sounds. Ideal for anything from soundscapes, scores and sound design to modern pop and electronic. Intro price, 60 euros as a sound expansion, REG 75 euros, slash 155 euros. Changes in Easy Keys 1.3.1 General Added native Apple Silicon support to the VST, AU and standalone. The About dialog says 64-bit ARM, instead of 64-bit Intel, when running in native Apple Silicon mode. New standalone and document icons on Mac, in Big Sur style. Bitmap interpolation has been turned off for Mac Retina displays, to make the graphics less blurry, and to remove certain artifacts, for example horizontal lines in the Favorites browser. Check for updates can now open the Product Manager, if installed, instead of the download web page. Standalone. On Windows, two new device types are available, Wasapi, Exclusive Mode, and Wasapi, Low Latency Mode. Bug Fixes in Easy Keys 1.3.1 General Studio One should no longer crash if you drag MIDI from Easy Keys to another plugin. On Windows, it should no longer crash if some unknown object type, not a file, is dragged to Easy Keys. On Mac, the gray overlay graphics for MIDI learning a control was sometimes not shown or could have artifacts. It could even cause a crash. Song Track The MIDI file created when you drag from the song track out from Easy Keys no longer contains any meta texts, so that it works better to drag to Logic Pro X 10.6 Plus and GarageBand 10. For Plus, an extra track would be created just for the meta texts, and the notes were placed on another track. Pedal states are now set slash reset whenever song track playback starts, and when the playhead is moved during playback. The play button would sometimes look pressed when playback had been stopped. It was especially likely to happen after recording a new song block. The red recording block would sometimes extend to the beginning of the track even if the recording was not started at bar 1. Browser User folders are no longer formatted like ToonTrack MIDI folders. That fixes for example this issue, adding a folder starting with an underscore would make it look like a header and it would not be possible to remove from the browser. Shift clicking on a file in the browser when nothing was selected would cause a crash. Standalone. Quitting immediately after startup would show the quit confirmation dialog even though nothing had been changed. Read more at www.toontrack.com Please like this video if you found it helpful, and if you'd like to stay informed on the latest in music gear releases and limited time discount offers, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.